Happy Friday, all you tactical moms and dads out there and non-parents. Welcome back to the Tactical Everyday Dad. Spring is upon us. You know what that means. Shorts weather. Are you going to be stuck wearing dad shorts like this? Or... So, what makes these shorts so special? Watch this. So these are the Vertex Men's Phantom LT 2.0 shorts. You can get them on Vertex Directly's website or Amazon or anywhere that sells tactical gear. They run around $54.99 before tax. You can probably find them on sales or there's a couple of awesome YouTubers out there. Um, Warrior Poet is one. He has a code for these guys. It's a pretty substantial discount. You can always go check that out. That's what I use on these. And so this is a ripstop material that has an intelligent dry um, system, I believe, that allows it to dry very quickly and stay wrinkle free. There's double gassets everywhere, um, especially right here in the crotch area. You can do your roundhouse kicks or splits with no problems of fearing that these are gonna rip or anything like that. So let's start with the features of the shorts. I'm going the right side first main pocket see the seam right here there's a secret pocket that you can use to stash valuables if you know you're going somewhere that there's a risk of pickpockets this one i normally have my phone in this right pocket but i also use this right here this helps to kind of hold your knife normal shorts don't have this extra little wide opening it's just cut right there and you kind of have this weird little thing where your knife is and this helps the retention of the knife tooth from ripping your pants all the time. So I put my small blade there. There's a tool pocket here. I actually use that little slender pocket for OTF. It's actually the perfect fit for it. Just like that. These cargo pockets have this nice little flap here. It helps retain all the gear inside your cargo pocket without having to actually seal it off. And it's such an easier, quicker access. And inside here, if you can get, can see this, there's a dividing pocket in here, just so you can stash smaller items and it won't be flying, flying around inside there. What I put in here is my Go First Aid Kit. It's just your typical stuff, you know, in case your kid has some scrapes, some bumps, some bruises. Um, you know, there's bee sting stuff in there, burn cream, Benadryl in case he gets something he's allergic to. Goes right there, close it. Very sleek and stealthy. Back pocket. I'm gonna just have my keys in the right one. Always have a quick detach. I use the Wesson one. That's right there, we're not using them. Mask goes in my back left pocket. On the left side mirrors the right side everything is the exact same i don't utilize the left um tool slash knife pocket or flashlight pocket just because i don't really carry a flashlight unless it's nighttime i don't go out at night anymore being a parent i stay home and take care of my family so the left hand side is where i put my wallet and then i have my other keys i just have my house keys and my car keys but these house everything else like garage keys toolbox keys, safe keys, stuff like that, right here. Hand sanitizer, and then the cargo pocket. I use a little small pocket inside for my snacks for my son, or 
little wipes. Today we went on a bike ride and he decided to stop and pick up a napkin. Yeesh, good thing I had one of those. Multi-tool goes in here. A couple toys for you. Close that off. Looks very covert. Like you're not carrying anything. So guys, take all the information I provided as data advice and use it to form your own conclusions on if you want to include this into your everyday setup. I personally do. I used to be a 5'11 shorts or Oakley shorts kind of guy. And these kind of just blow them out of the water. I'll do a versus video down the road. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to get some more of these. So thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one.